when you started thinking about leaving everything behind, starting a new life, a new career, you already figured out that it'll make you happy. It's exciting and adventurous and sure at some stage your old career was exciting and adventurous but that's long gone so this new excitement that'll give you the energy to succeed. And of course it's a great story to tell leaving everything behind doing something new that gives you a great sense of freedom. And most importantly if you have done something before that didn't truly suit you now is the time to make it right. Now you can demonstrate all the things that you know that you are capable of. But something holds you back, something you can't truly explain, but you ask yourself, why don't more people do what I plan to do? And you remember a few worries and concerns that came up. Sure, you will have to bring a lot of sacrifices. When you start a new career, a new profession, you start at the bottom of the hierarchy. Whether that is in an organization, in a job or as a freelancer, you won't be able to refer to the old successes that you've had in your old career. The sacrifice may also include the monetary side. Maybe in the new career you won't earn as much money or at least initially not as much money as you were making before. And those are all big sacrifices. You're also very aware that this career that you're now aspiring to isn't your complete life. You have friends and families and obligations and things you'd like to do, hobbies you have and places that you like to live in or people that you would like to live close to. And all that means that you have to consider your life holistically. So that career that you're aspiring to is not the be all and end all. And of course, you know that it's risky. You know that there is no guarantee that you will succeed in your new environment. And all these things try to hold you back. I've gone through this journey myself. I'm actually a big fan of this revolutionizing, leaving everything behind, focusing on something new, but that's because it plays towards my personality. There are a few things though that I wish I had known when I embarked on the journey. And that is what I share with you in this video today. By the way, before I get into the three things that I would consider today, what about you? Have you made a change? Have you left everything behind? How did it go for you? I'm curious. So please do put a comment in the comment section below so that our other viewers can learn from that as well. The first thing I would consider more is the risk issue at hand. You know, the thing that I mentioned that there is no guarantee that you'll be successful in the new career. I see many people who strive for a new career and a new job in the pursuit of being happy and joyful. There's nothing wrong with that. Of course, you're better at a job where you are also joyful in. But if you purely base your career choice on what makes you happy, what interests you, what you have fun doing, you're probably neglecting what you are good at. And that is something essential that you need in a career as well. You want to pursue something that you are personally good at, that plays towards your strengths. There's a website called 16personalities.com where you can go and do Myers-Briggs tests and anagrams and the big five personality test. And I'm not suggesting that you take them at face value, but they help you understand yourself better. And sometimes, at least for me, they also help me to be a little bit more truthful with myself. The second thing you really need to figure out for yourself is how your profession or your career fits into or around your personal life. Not saying that they have to align perfectly, but some people keep their professional life and their personal life completely separate and that can create tension. The last thing you want, especially around a career change, is tension. Tension at home, tension with your friends and also tension about finances. Align your finances with the new income level. Make sure that your work schedule fits into or around your personal schedule. And also figure out how and in what place you want to live so that it fits together with what you want to do. The third thing to consider is something that I absolutely didn't consider when making a career change. And that is that you have to close the door behind you. You have to close off the past to your old career. Things that connect you to the past, the way especially how you look at yourself and the picture that you've built up about yourself in your old career, 
that can hold you back. I assure you, you have done things in the past that you are proud of. And you will remember those things and you will still cherish those successes that you've had in the past. It's just that now those successes, you can't utilize them in your new career. And so you have to close the door. You have to close the door in terms of how you view yourself. You are now a new person in a new environment. And as soon as you are able to accept it, you'll thrive in your new career. What about you? Are you considering a change? And if you do, what are you thinking about? Let's share our experiences together. Put those in the comment section below so we can all learn from each other. Right now we have this one-on-one -on -one connection and if you value that, then do not subscribe and do not hit the like button because then, well, it'll help the channel because it'll be shown to many people, but we lose this exclusive connection completely up to you. I will see you in the next video.